Calvin Castine in the offices of the town of Champlain on Route 9. Uh, what number is this? 729 Route 9. 729 Route 9. Can I say Route 9? <laughs> <laughs> and we're here to talk about a big event coming up for August 17th, 2013. We have uh, Julie Castine, our town clerk. Celine Pocket, uh, former county legislator and uh, proprietor of the uh, Samuel D. Champlain History Center. History Center, and Jane West, the long, long, long time uh, <laughs> secretary here in the town <laughs> offices. She's not that old. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 225 years uh, the town has been in existence. Uh, a little framed uh, a thing on the wall over here. This is, uh, I think it's March 7th, 1788. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the state of New York, which hadn't yet uh, ratified the Constitution, but took time to uh, announce that Clinton County was being formed, and among those, those uh, towns in the Clinton County was going to be the town of Champlain. And that's when we came into existence and this year. We're going to celebrate 225 years of this, and there's going to be a big party here. Who wants to tell me about the big party here at the town office? Jane? Well, uh, there's a lot of events that's going to be taking place. Uh, not only the town will be celebrating, the um, Champlain Telephone Company is having their annual um, open house. I, I believe it's 150 years? 10. 110 years for them being in existence as well. And they always coordinate it with the town's townwide yard sale. So I believe they will be having hot dogs and uh, open house at the facility here on Route 9 as well. And then uh, the Village of Champlain uh, will be having uh, different events as well. This one is involved with the uh, historical marker that's going to be put in place, and she might want to comment on that. Okay, so uh, it's the annual townwide garage sale. That's correct. Now, it was, it was two years ago. Uh, at the same facility, there was a big event put on that helped uh, raise money for St. Mary's. Mm -hmm. Was that, Julie, was that also the same time as the townwide garage sale? Do you recall? No, no? that was different. A separate date? That was separate date. But for the past couple of years, uh, the townwide garage sale, the Champlain Village Fest, and the uh, Champlain Telephone Company's annual Customer Appreciation Day have fallen on the same day. Mm -hmm. So it was a very appropriate day to... Uh, mm -hmm to do this. Um, just to touch on what the Champlain Telephone Company is going to be doing, uh, they're going to be going from 9 to 2, and that's going to be at the phone company offices. They're going to have Irish dancers there at 10.30. The band uh, Overdrive will be playing. Uh, I know Dean Trombley is in that band, Rick LaVonture, uh, uh, Kevin Trombley, and uh, Marciano Boy, I believe, or man. <laughs> <laughs> He's the fourth member. Don't forget. <laughs> uh, they're going to have food, bouncy house, face painting, bucket rides, interactive displays, drawings for a 32-inch TV, and of course everything there is, is free. And uh, since they have scheduled events, uh, Celine, I believe you've tried to work with them to coordinate different time periods so that people uh, haven't got to conflict too much. And of course, the Champlain Village Fest will be going on throughout that time period, and they don't think they have anything time specific. Just stop in and have a free ice cream or whatever, and so mm -hmm. go ahead. Yes, we start at uh, 11 o'clock. We're unveiling a marker to Noah Dyer Moore. This was given to us by a uh, Pomeroy Foundation. Don Papson was in instrumental in securing this. And after this unveiling, um, then the village festivities will begin in Riverside Park. and. As you said, the ice cream, and I think they have many other things playing. There's music and some other things. But uh, Noah Dyer Moore was the founder of the uh, Clinton County Anti-Slavery Society. He was the first uh, president, and he and his wife were very active in anti-slavery and the Underground Railroad movement in this area. So we thought very fitting to honor him, and his home was right across from St. Mary's Church. So we were putting the marker in front of St. Mary's and pointing out that the home was across the street from there. Is it roughly where Donald Castine is? Exactly. Is that where his that, house is now? That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, will he now have a marker in his front yard? Or where is this no, going to be? No, no, that's why we have it across the street. 
So uh, it'll yeah. be. Uh, it will indicate on the marker across the street with Noah Dottie Moore's home. So it'll be on St. Mary's property? On St. Mary's property. Church property? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it'll be close to the Samuel D. Champlain exactly. uh, monument. Exactly. It's in line with the Samuel D. Champlain monument. Mm -hmm. Which was erected in? 1907 <laughs> by Franco Americans. <laughs> I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the. Uh, a hundred and some odd years ago, the uh, Franco-Americans were very active, and uh, Saint Jean Baptiste Society, and you know, mm -hmm. a lot of others that uh, worked, and they put up that monument. It was actually before the uh, the tricentennial. Of that's right. Saint it was Edition the first Plain. one in the United States. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's, that's uh, something I think people don't always appreciate. There's you know there's a nice uh, Samuel D. Champlain monument. Uh, uh, next to Kent Lord House in Plattsburgh, and is one at Crown Point. But that was first, 1912. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first one in the U.S. was right here Champlain. In, in Champlain, which is fitting since, mm -hmm. <laughs> since mm -hmm. it is the town of Champlain. Okay, so Noah Dyer Moore. Uh, I think of a guy named Pliny Moore, mm -hmm. uh, son, mm -hmm. uh, nephew. What? Uh, Pliny Moore was Noah Dyer's father. Father. Okay. Pliny Moore. Uh, and that Noah Dyer was son he, of. That was the son yeah, of Pliny. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Pliny's home was where the Clark Funeral Home is. Uh, the original house burnt in 1912 and they rebuilt it exactly as it was when Pliny Moore built it. So it's a replica. But uh, Pliny Moore is known as the founder of our community because when he was granted some uh, land, land grants as a result of having served in the Revolutionary War, and he came up here and surveyed these lots. Uh, many were given to the soldiers who had served and um, he surveyed all that. He, we still have his maps, they're, they're very accurate. Um, so as a result of that, he said, I'm moving here with my family. And the county that existed at the time was Washington County. So he petitioned a few of his friends from uh, Dutchess County and um, I can't remember what other county and Judge Platt and said, we need to have our own county up here. I know it's far and it's wilderness, but let's have our own. And sure enough, he did obtain uh, the Clinton County. So Clinton County was formed from Washington County. So at that time, Clinton County was quite large. It was from the border all the way to Washington County. So it included Essex and Franklin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wills it had Willsboro, Plattsburgh, and And there were and four Champlain. towns formed, and Champlain was one Crown of them, and Plattsburgh, and Willsboro, and Crown Point. Yeah. But they were all within Clinton County. And at the same time, we had the town of Champlain formed. So right. That, that was... Uh, that was wonderful. Yeah, I'm uh, not aware. Is the county doing anything to celebrate uh, 225? I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard. You know, I think uh, Julie's too young to remember, but uh, us older folks might remember that great parade back in 1988. Uh, with the, yeah, maybe uh, you know, the bicentennial parade through That's the right. streets of Plattsburgh and over yeah. Champlain. All the towns yes. had floats oh, yes, in it. And, yes, yeah. and locally here, Addie, uh, not Addie, but uh, uh, Peg Barcombe was our town historian, yeah. and uh, she put on her Rouse reunion that year. Yeah. So yeah. Rouses from all around the world showed up. Yeah. To yeah. It. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it was a, quite a celebration uh, 25 mm -hmm. years ago. It certainly was. And yeah. it's, it's, you know, I'm glad that uh, you people jumped on board here and are are not letting this anniversary go by. Mm -hmm. this, uh, you know. Uh, some of us won't be around uh, for the 250th or 275th. Well, I'm planning on it. Now. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. Not Julie and me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, it's it's very important, and uh, you know, if we don't celebrate and recognize these uh, events, uh, who will? Mm -hmm. And we've been fortunate in the last few years. We had the big you know, uh, quadricentennial celebration, mm -hmm. and then the following year they had a nice event uh, uh, at going to fair with the 250th anniversary. Uh, there mm -hmm. so that, you know, we've had some nice events in the town and this here will, will certainly be among them when people think back and hopefully everybody will uh, be able to to take part in this and at least some of the events now uh, uh, Noah Dyer Moore uh, didn't he also have a house up in Butternut uh, it seems that when I went around with Addie that she talked about a house up there in Butternut that was involved with the uh, Underground mm -hmm. Railroad it's hard to pinpoint that unless we can find something in writing. Yeah. It's not accepted. Right. And uh, I think the only picture that we've ever seen of Noah Dyer Moore's house on Church Street is uh, something that was on one of David Patrick's calendars. Right. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Because you know, David Patrick's a descendant of Noah Dyer. And 
and uh, I think it's just a, it a little painting on a, yeah. on an, on a, on a yeah, there was a big fire there and it burnt the church and his home. And he had quite a large home there. Yeah, yeah but it, was it a painting on a ceramic yeah, piece or something yeah. that, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. that, uh, that David Patrick was able to find, so it's nice yeah. to have some kind of a, an idea mm -hmm. of what the, the home looked like. So that's at 11, uh, right yeah. across mm -hmm. from St. Mary's Church. Mm -hmm. And then next town event? Well, then the people can go on to the festivities in the Village Park at Riverside Park with, the, with their offering. Or, and then at 12 or to the phone noon, company. Or the phone company, yeah. And then at noon, the events start here. Mm -hmm. That's where Jane and Julie are involved. Well, we well, have the town-wide yard yeah. sale. Is the, well, the events will really be going on yeah. all morning. I mean, we be setting up because we have um, the bouncy house here too, and we have Penelope the clown. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a dog show. What time will that start? I believe the dog show is at ten, isn't it? No. Well, we asked them to set up around ten. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. And it'll be in the afternoon. It'll be throughout the afternoon. You know, all these events. It didn't specifically say, you know, show up at 10 or whatever, but uh, so it'll be ongoing. We're going to have a horse and pony show, a dog and pony show? Well, we're going to have a petting <laughs> zoo. I'm bringing some of my horse, my little minis, and I'm trying to get some little miniature cows that are in the area to come so everybody <laughs> can see Those are called those. calves. No. <laughs> actually, they're called, no, actually they're called zebus. They're miniature cows. <laughs> so. I saw a picture of them in the paper recently. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then... Our big finale will be the Gibson Brothers at 5 o'clock. Yeah, oh no, our big finale is the formal ceremony <laughs> oh, at 4 o'clock. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, let me see. Is it 4 o'clock official commemoration ceremony? Right, right, yes. of the, uh, go ahead. Wayside panel. But we're going to have remarks by public officials. Right now we're, we're confirming some of them. We're not sure who yet. Oh, we can't uh, have that without having that. Yeah, oh, yeah. we got to have the public officials. Yes. And then our county historian, Dr. Anastasia Pratt, has agreed to give us a brief town history. Okay. And then we'll have the unveiling of the panel, which was donated by the Lake Champlain Basin Program. Okay, so that's, this is a different panel other than the Nodaya. This would be one here on our, oh, yeah. on our town office property. The Nodaya War is a historic marker. Right. It's a cast iron thing. Okay. This is a wayside panel. Okay. Like we have throughout the town. Well, something mm -hmm. like uh, they have in front of St. Mary's Church, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and near the monument yeah. and Dewey Tavern and yeah. So the no like more will be more like the and blue that, and gold. That's uh, right. Uh, it's cast iron. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the wayside panel will be unveiled and uh, it has some highlights of the town on it. Yeah. We haven't seen it yet. We're hoping it gets here in time. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. so. Today is July thirty first. Yes, have, I, understand. <laughs> I understand. Eighteen days, ladies. <laughs> And during this time, also in the afternoon, there'll be a stamp cancellation, a pectoral stamp cancellation. Uh, Joe Grimshaw, a local artist, has uh, developed a very nice cancellation. I think people will be very happy with it. Where will that be? <clears throat> That'd be right here on the grounds on the of grounds. the town complex. Yes. In 2009, he was up at your museum. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So the, that is the, the formal part of the ceremony. Yeah. And then. The Gibsons. And then the Gibsons at 5 o'clock. It's a free yeah. concert. The free know. concert. Yeah. The most popular group uh, north of Albany, mm -hmm. <laughs> if not <laughs> if not north of, uh, of Poughkeepsie. Really? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> where do you expect people are going to park and sit? They bring your own lawn chair, I assume. Yes, we, we encourage. We do have seating. We have about 400 seats that we are chairs that we're renting. And we have a large tent that's going to be connected to the the garage in case of inclement weather and whatnot. But we have capacity for 400. Um, the other part of the uh, tarmac can be used for their own seating and whatnot. We anticipate, I have no idea how many to anticipate for this event. Everybody says you're going to get a large crowd. I hope so. I, I just don't know. Uh, every time they play locally in any mm -hmm. county venue or, Ess or Essex or Franklin County venue, they get sold out. So. Yeah. yeah. They uh, said the last one they did was over 500, which was in Ellenburg. Mm. Okay. Now, where are they going to be set up? In the garage. We have we are renting a stage, which they will be performing on, and where the official uh, remarks will be held as well. We have opened the facility for their convenience, for whatever. We have quite a quite an uh, array of rules and do's and do nots with them. And we're, this is a whole new experience for us dealing with such a you know. A, 
the yeah. end is this and whatnot. So they've been very, very accommodating, very nice. Julie's been in touch with them many times. and So hopefully everything's in place, and as the date gets closer, we'll confirm everything. So Now, are they worried at all about acoustics? And we have a fellow by the name of Mike Barber. Yes. That's uh, familiar with the band and That's so forth. Junior He's Barber's son, I think. Possibly. He's coming in to set up all the sound systems and so forth. So hopefully we have thought of everything, and if we haven't, It'll go on. <laughs> Everybody hang a rosary on the clothesline. Make sure it doesn't rain. <laughs> okay, so the only, the, the bay doors will be open in yes. the town garage, and the, so people will be able to sit on the tarmac, as you said. That's and, correct. And you can, you can actually fit 400 chairs inside the garage? Between the garage and the, the tent is 40 by 100. So it'll be extending from the garage? From the garage, that's correct. Yeah, okay. nobody will really be sitting inside the garage, because that's where the stage, right? Well, yes, but there's room for is people. There be room? Yeah, there'll be room for people inside. Yeah. The VIPs like yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're not out with your pet. And <laughs> so we have a lot of nice <laughs> events planned, um, you know, between the, the telephone company, the village. The, your, I was going to mention yeah. that at the uh, History Center we have two main exhibits planned mm -hmm. for that day. Uh, one on Sheridan Ironworks. We have a lot of photographs and memorabilia that we're happy to share with people. And several of the former employees of Sheridan are, are planning to be there to answer questions and identify folks in the photographs <laughs> and who's who and, mm -hmm. and reminisce. And then we have an exhibit of a former artist who lived in Champlain, Mrs. Irene Lalonde. You probably remember her husband was a barber there on Main Street. He cut my hair way too high <laughs> <laughs> many, many times. <laughs> well, her daughter has loaned us many wonderful paintings that her mother has done and a lot of her works, so we have an exhibit of that. I thought it would be nice to have a, honor a former artist here. So you're going to have tight, tight facilities there. You've got two exhibits going on inside? Two exhibits, yeah, on the main, in the downstairs. We're going to move some of our permanent exhibits out of the way. And, yeah. it, will, it will fit. It will work. Now, does, is the bulk of the uh, Sheridan stuff? I know Lee Gordon uh, Lee Gordon some gave stuff me some. Uh, Ralph Weir gave me some. John Zerlo, uh, Cork Smith. Richard Nolette had left me some stuff several years ago, so yeah, we have quite a bit of things. Richard. Richard or Roger Nolette? Roger. 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 Yeah. Whoever yeah. Roger, was Roger was the, Roger was the personnel Roger. manager. Yeah, yeah that's right. The right, right, up person, to the, yeah. right up to the bitter end, yes. in fact. Yeah. Yeah. I think they rented this basin where the learning center is now at the end after the, mm -hmm. the facilities were closed. I think they were there for another year after the after mm -hmm. actually. You know, so, uh, is that a quite large exhibit? Is it mainly photos? You got a lot of photos, but we have a lot of uh, the plates and the machinery. Plates. And we have two um, patents um, that were awarded to Alfred Greenberg in 1906. We have the letter from Washington with the wax seal on it. So we'll exhibit that. So was that Oscar's father? Or Alfred? I am not sure. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've mentioned this a couple of times. Uh, 1966, I started working at Sheridan Ironworks, and uh, during the summer months, the last two weeks of, of July was always shut down because those were the hottest two day, two weeks, and they just shut down every year. Uh, that's when most, so everybody got their two week vacation. Then, if they had more, they could take it whenever. But everybody got two weeks off. So, being a newcomer, I didn't have any vacation. So they, they let you. Uh, do some things uh, to help out to, during, this, during that two-week period. So my job was to go down in their finished parts storage and scrap old name plates and signs that hadn't been used in 30, 40, 50 years to go through all those and scrap them. So all those went to the landfill and oh, uh, shame. Uh, shame. you know if you could one of, that's one of those yeah. things I sort of think back, if I get my time machine, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I would have uh, grabbed a whole bunch of those. But yeah. I, I look back at that and I say, oh, why? Mm, yeah, that didn't mean anything. Like that. No, no. It's just, uh, mm -hmm. it was just excess stuff. They had to get rid of, get it We're off the We're fortunate books. to have what we do have. Yeah, once in a while, uh, an old TW and CB Sheridan mm -hmm. nameplate or something will uh, show up on eBay or yeah. something like that there. And uh, you know, old pictures, and yeah, but, we'll, uh, we will be getting some pictures also on loan from uh, Robbie Clark from his father's collection. He said he was willing to share some of them. 
Yeah, because uh, Lockwood Clark certainly had a, a lot of yeah, stuff. So. He even had some machines that he yes. he yeah. been because the Clark family was That's originally right. the owners of the uh, Sheridan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before it became Sheridan, it was the yeah. Clark uh, uh, Foundry or mm -hmm. Iron Works or whatever it was happened to be called. So okay, anything that we need to add to this before we recap it? No, come on, come all. Yeah. We hope to see you and uh, call us if you have questions ahead of time. So if anybody wants to get on the town-wide yard sale, to give us a call. That's the right. more the merrier. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's going to be, be busy around here, so. And yeah. vendors are welcome to set up on their own. Have have their oh, we will be selling books that day too. Yeah, the commemorative booklets. Um, right now, I'm developing a commemorative booklet. But in addition to that, there are books. I think your book, Calvin, will be mm -hmm. sold. David will be here with his calendars. Uh, David Graham from Plattsburgh, uh, during the quad year, developed a book of Gem New York. I love New York. Um, highlights of towns with uh, French names, French origins. Uh, very good. Uh, so there will be a lot of things for sale that day. Yeah, the, the, hopefully the town of Champlain 2000, which is a mm -hmm. close to a 300 page book. Yes. Uh, uh, I, hate, I hate to call it my book because uh, it was a, a community effort, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of history yes, in there. People, yeah. you know, it's nothing yeah. too in depth, but mm -hmm. you can touch, you can learn a lot about uh, a little bit of a, a lot, a little bit about a lot of <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah. subjects. Yeah. Yeah. And that will be a, a very yeah, that will be on sale as well. Okay. We'll also have food up here too, because um, is it barbecue pit? Is that what it's no, uh, up north barbecue. Uh -huh. Tom up here. Tom up here. Yeah. Be setting up, and you will be offering. Stand up food, I call it hot dogs, hamburgers, kind of thing. And uh, Coca Cola has been very generous. Uh, uh, Larry Dupe, he works for Coke, he's always been generous in any of our events, or donating quite a few, uh, like soft drinks or water or whatever. So, and then we're purchasing, you know, multiple so Donating them and you're going to sell them. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> we are purchasing as well. Yeah, I don't know how many of our we're getting, but we will have refreshments up here. Okay, so if the town makes a profit, what, what's going to happen to that? Offset, to offset some of the expenses. <laughs> <laughs> There's some big ones. <laughs> but um, we're fortunate that we have the funds to do it, and 225 years certainly deserves a great attention. Yeah, well, I applaud you, you folks, for stepping forward to, to do this. Uh, as you all know, I was hoping that. Uh, Somebody would do that, and uh, I'm, well, I'm glad Flynn you guys did. Well, is the one did. that sparked us in this, and we just took it from there. It doesn't take much to get us going. <laughs> but, you know, I can't let an anniversary go by, you know. <laughs> yeah, so we, we've had a lot of fun. It's been a lot of work, but we've had a lot of fun. It pertains to Champlain. <laughs> you got to do it. Mm -hmm. It's fun doing it. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. It hasn't interfered too much, but mm -hmm. bring the community together and celebrate. Because I remember Julie and Jane saying, after 2011, never again. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we've had fun day. This here is referred to as Champlain Day. So, uh, you know, it touches on the village and the, and the town as well. Okay, so it's Saturday, August 17th, rain or shine. Rain or shine. Yeah. And uh, there will be a tent here as far as uh, the Gibson concert goes. Yes. And so let's just do the highlights. Uh, uh, Champlain Foam Company events start at 9, they run to 2, mm -hmm. so you can stop in there, uh, stuff is free, the, uh, usually they have free burgers and stuff, but if you donate, then they're raising money for the libraries, so they want to throw a dollar in there for the hamburgers or hot dogs, and they, but they get bucket rides for the kids, interactive displays, a bouncy house, face painting, Irish dancers at 10.30, a band from 11 to 1. Uh, Champlain Village Fest going on throughout the day. Not quite sure. You think after uh, it the starts at noon. Starts at noon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that runs usually three, four hours. That's uh, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the events uh, uh, that you guys are putting on town line garage sale starts at eight. Yeah, whatever people want to open. Mm -hmm. We'll have maps here too. Yeah, that's what I mean. Available. When the people come here, get a map. They usually get them the day before the maps. Yeah, yeah. So and um, I imagine I'll bring some down to the phone company too. But the so time will people be here? Well, we'll, be here, we'll be here. We'll be here early. I would say by seven thirty, eight o'clock. So if people want to stop in here, get a map yes. of the yeah. townwide garage sale. Yes. And if you want to take part in the townwide garage sale, that includes both call. villages in the town. Yeah. Just, just give us a call, and I do get a on map, the map. So. Okay. So then, no, 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 is That's at eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock. 
and then, in front of St. Mary's Church. And then mm -hmm. another dedication here at 4. At 4 is the, the formal ceremony, public official remarks. And, and, and dedicating of the, the wayside. And the wayside panel um, yeah, and the history of the town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Sounds like a fun day. I uh, just uh, want to know who's in charge of the weather. Uh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I take full responsibility for the, okay. <laughs> for the weather. All right. Thank you very much, ladies, and uh, let's hope it all works out uh, great here. It sounds like a lot of fun on the 17th of August, 2013.